Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most evil British TV personalities. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at well-known British television celebrities who caused massive controversy with their terrible opinions or criminal acts. Number 10. Katie Hopkins After gaining some publicity in 2007 for appearing in The Apprentice, it didn't take too long for Hopkins to show her true colours. She has regularly spouted views that many see as racist. In 2015, she called migrants crossing the sea into the UK cockroaches and suggested using gunships to deter them. The following year, when a UK Muslim family were rejected from travelling to the US, Hopkins decided to label the family as extremists, when there was no link at all. Then in 2017, after the Manchester attack, she tweeted about needing a final solution. Whilst she claims she meant to say true solution, that didn't stop her from being dropped by LBC. Number 9. Freddie Starr Better known for the infamous Freddie Starr Ate My Hamster story, Starr has always been a controversial comedian. In 2012, he attempted to issue an injunction to stop the media from reporting on a story about him. This was related to allegations that Starr was a close associate of Jimmy Savile when they appeared on an episode of Clunk Click in 1974 and Starr was accused of assaulting a young person backstage. In 2015, Starr issued a libel case against the woman that accused him of assaulting her. His case was rejected, but the judge stated that the woman's story was true. However, too much time had passed for them to legally pursue it. Starr reportedly had a legal bill of £1 million. Number 8. Andrew Bennett Gogglebox is usually a fun, relaxing show to watch. Just seeing people taking in that week's TV schedule with witty comments was always delightful. But then Andrew Bennett appeared in the 12th series, and, in retrospect, it's uncomfortable viewing to see those repeats. In 2022, Bennett appeared in court for assaulting an underage teenager and forcefully giving him love bites. Bennett originally denied the charges and blamed his actions on slimming drugs. Yet once his DNA was linked to the teenager, he changed his tune. He admitted to multiple crimes on that grim night. Bennett was jailed for 29 months, forced to follow a harm order for 10 years, and signed the offender register. Number 7. Ben Thomas At one point, Thomas was a big part of BBC Wales by presenting on shows like Wales Today and the young person show Fail. In 2005, he quit the broadcasting world and became a church minister. Then, in 2020, he was sentenced for horrific crimes. From 1990 to 2019, Thomas committed various acts against children and men in Wales, London, Shropshire and Romania. Starting his reign of terror as a 14-year-old, he later used his power as a church leader and presenter to take advantage of his victims. Thomas admitted to 40 offences altogether. He was sentenced to 10 years and 4 months in jail. After his release, he'll be on the offender register for life. Number 6. Dave Lee Travis When it came to music broadcasting, Travis did it all. He presented Top of the Pops, was a DJ for multiple radio shows, and was even involved with the Eurovision Song Contest. Then, in 2012, he was arrested as part of the investigation for Operation U Tree. In early 2014, he stood trial for 14 counts of assault on women aged between 15 to 29. He was found not guilty for 12 counts, but a verdict couldn't be reached for the other two. So, in late 2014, a retrial began. He was found guilty on one count of groping a researcher for the Mrs. Merton show and received a prison sentence of three months suspended for two years. Many were angry at the lenient punishment. Number 5. Peter Rowell At one time, ITV West Country News would regularly showcase this presenter. Considering Rowell's controversial comments about Princess Diana in 1997, when he remarked on her chest shortly after her passing was announced, he was lucky to still have a prominent media job. In 2011, news leaked that Rowell had gone missing after he didn't show up for work. After being found, he was soon arrested. 
The reason he vanished was that the police had seized his computer, which contained over 400 indecent images of underaged persons. In 2012, Raoul admitted to 12 charges of assault on young girls and other charges of possessing and making those grim images. He received a sentence of six years in prison and was placed on the offender register. Number 4. Fred Talbot Best known for presenting in Northwest England for ITV and for being the early weather presenter for This Morning, Talbot's career took a massive nosedive in 2012 when his home was raided by police. In 2015, he stood trial on allegations that he assaulted numerous teenagers when he was a school teacher. Talbot denied the charges, however he was found guilty of assaulting two teenage boys. The judge sentenced him to five years in prison, but he could be considered for release after two and a half. But then, Talbot found himself in court twice in 2017. Firstly, he was found guilty of assault and received a four-year sentence. In the second trial, he got eight months for another assault. He was released in 2019. Number 3. Stuart Hall From being on sports programmes like A Question of Sport, game shows like It's a Knockout or many other projects, Hall was everywhere at one point. Due to his long service to broadcasting, he was awarded an OBE in 2011. The following year, he was arrested for multiple counts of indecent assault. Originally, he denied the claims, but he changed his tune and admitted to 14 charges in the pre-trial. He received just a 15-month sentence, but outrage at the leniency doubled it to 30 months. In another trial in 2014, Hall was found guilty on two counts and received a further two-and-a-half-year sentence. He was released in 2015 and showed no remorse as he publicly declared his victims were vindictive, malicious people. Number 2. Rolf Harris When he wasn't painting the Queen's portrait or showcasing the creatures in Animal Hospital, Harris could be found making a career out of music and creating the Wobbleboard. After getting various honours, he was arrested in 2012 under Operation Yew Tree. In 2014, he was found guilty of 12 counts of indecent assault of girls. He received a sentence of 5 years and 9 months. In 2017, Harris faced a new trial with a further 7 allegations. After being acquitted of three charges, a retrial began. However, the jury was unable to come to a decision on the remaining four counts. Whilst undergoing this retrial, Harris was released from prison from his 2014 sentencing and later had one of the charges overturned. Number 1. Jimmy Savile After making his name as a TV presenter, Savile began giving back to the community with volunteer work by working closely with hospital facilities. But that's not what actually happened. This was an elaborate cover story for him to wreak havoc in people's lives. After his passing in 2011, a host of allegations came out about Savile. In 2013, over 450 people had made complaints about his terrible actions. Savile had manipulated everyone around him for years as he assaulted adults and, mainly, children. Some of his victims were in extremely vulnerable situations. Investigations into the NHS and BBC ensued in the aftermath as people tried to figure out how he got away with this for so long. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.